Hello everyone, welcome to a new Java tutorial series. In this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how to make a network tic-tac-toe. Before we start with the series, I just assume you have a fairly good knowledge of Java so that you can just do all the things that I do so that you can understand them. I'm not going to be explaining you how to program in Java because you should already know that if you've come here, but I'm going to be explaining you why I do the things that I do that way. Just make sure that you know things such as methods, variables, classes, inheritance, and so on. But I'm going to be teaching you how to make GUI, how to render things, how to make the networking, and that's pretty much it. So yeah. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new project and I'm just going to call it Tic Tac Toe Tutorial. So in this first, um, <clears throat> in this first episode, what we're going to make is we're going to make a window. So it's going to be just one window that we're going to create. And that one window is going to have a J panel on it. And then I'm going to teach you how to render things onto that J panel. And that's pretty much going to be all that we're going to do in this first tutorial. We're going to make a window and we're going to render on that window and that's going to be it for the first tutorial. <clears throat> so let's get started. First of all, I just want to make um, a main class. So I'm going to put it in the game package. So game dot uh, main maybe? Or let's just put it in the game package. So we're here, we're going to create a main class. What the main class is going to have is it's going to have a main method, just like every program must have. <clears throat> and in this main method, we are going to we're going to pretty much just start whatever window. For example, we create a window, and then we're going to just start that window. That's pretty much it. So first of all, now let's create a first window. So to do that, we're going to create a new class and we're going to put it in game.gui and I'm going to just call this window. So here I'm going to teach you how to work with GUI so I'm going to be explaining all the things I do so don't worry about that. The first thing we need to do is extend the JFrame class. JFrame class is pretty much a class that creates a window for us. You can just uh, use it and then just make an instance of it, or you can extend it, which is what I'm going to do in this tutorial series. So, now that we've extended the JFrame, let's just generate the serial version ID just to get rid of this warning. I'm not entirely sure what this means, but it's there, so and that's pretty much it. So, let's get started. First of all, we just want to create a constructor, and in this constructor, we're just going to set up our window. So the first thing we need to set the title of the window and there are two ways that you can set the title of the window. The first one is by calling the set title method and the set title method you can pretty much just set whatever you want the title of the window to be. Or there's a second way by using the super keyword and super keyword pretty much just calls the the super constructor so the constructor of the class that this class is extending and the JFrame constructor is pretty much like, can I see it like this? Let me just show you, so super, and here you go. So this is the super constructor of the JFrame, and it pretty much just takes a string title. So here we're just going to give it the title that we uh, want to put. So in this window, we're going to take in the title, the string title that we we're going to set a title to, so we're going to create another class which is going to extend the window class and then into that other class we're going to be adding um, different kinds of things, but, but this is just going to be the window class that then we're later going to extend. So now once you've set up the title, we need to set the size of the window. <clears throat> and to do that, we just pretty much call the set size method from the JFrame class, which pretty much just sets the size of the window. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to string title, uh, I mean into the constructor, and write int width and int height, because those are pretty much what we need to set. Here we're just going to pass them through uh, set size, width, and height, and that's going to set the size of our window. Pretty much what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to create a new class, and we're going to call that class, for example, <coughs> uh, main game state or something, and then we're just going to... Um, use the super 
the keyword again and just pass all these things in. But this is just the main window class that every single window is going to extend. Next thing we need to do <coughs> is set the default close operation. I'm just going to explain what it does in a minute. So the way to do it is that's just the jframe.exit on close. <coughs> and what this does is, first of all, to understand what this does, you need to understand the difference between a program and the window. So, what we think of as a program is just a window, right? But there's more to it. First of all, program is something that is just... That does, your program doesn't need to have a window. And window is some just something that we use for the input and the output of our program. And the thing is, if, for example, I, you close the window <coughs> of your program, but if there's this line is not in the code, then what's going to happen is your program is not going to close, only the window is going to close, and then the program is going to continue <coughs> running in your background because you didn't call this function, and then it's going to be running in the background and taking <coughs> more memory and more memory because you didn't uh, do this, and it's going to do it until you finally restart your PC. So make sure you do this. Next thing I'm going to do is just use the set location relative to what this does is pretty much we just set it relative to no other components, and so we just use null, and what this does is pretty much just puts our window into the middle of the screen. Next thing, the last thing that we need to do is use the set visible true. I'm not entirely sure why we have to do this. Um, when people, when those people who made Java, when they were making Java, they decided to just let us have to use this method to make our window visible. Pretty much, if you don't put this method in there, then your window is not going to be visible. It's going to be there, but it's not going to be visible. So I'm not entirely sure why did they do this, but simply just all you need to know is that you need to use this line. And that's it. Oh, what, what did I just do? Okay. Okay. So now in our main, we're just going to... Actually, we're not going to do anything in the main yet. So this is our window. <clears throat> now what we're going to do... Let's go and create a new class, and this is going to be our main game class, for example. So, what we're going to do it, I'm just going to call it main game. So, this is going to be where you can see the whole field from a tic tac toe, and you press, and you know, you put X's and all those things, you know. So, this is pretty much just going to be our main game class. <clears throat> In this main game class, the first thing we need to do is make sure that it extends the window class, so um, so that means that it will create the window pretty much. Now, you might ask me, then, if that's what we do, then why didn't we just extend the, the JFrame from here? Well, the reason why we didn't do that is because um, our JFrame just needs a few of these settings there, right? And as it needs a few of those settings there, we I didn't really want to write them over and over again. So I just did it in one class, and then just every single class that just needs to extend the window is just going to extend that window. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. <coughs> and, yeah, by the way, um, one thing I forgot to do is set resizable. So, <coughs> I'm just going to do that. Say set resizable, and this is pretty much self-explanatory, just if you want your render to be resizable or not, but as here we're going to be like rendering things and all those things, we don't want our window to be resizable. So now we have our main game window. Now our main game, we don't want to take these things in the constructor because we're just going to set them right here. So the title is going to be the tic-tac-toe or some tic-tac-toe game maybe. The width is going to be 800, and the height is going to be 600, and now we've got ourselves a window. <clears throat> Let me just see how long the video is. Oh, it's more than 9 minutes. Okay, never mind that. Now we're just going to go to our main, new main game, and that's going to do it. So, make sure to import it. Now let's run it, and we've got ourselves a new window. So, that's it guys for this video, I hope it was helpful, make sure to like if it was, subscribe for more of this content, I'm not entirely sure when the next episode is gonna come out, 
<clears throat> but the point is, I still have to prepare myself for making this series. I can't just go and write all that code out without knowing, without really knowing the way that I'm gonna do that. So I'm first just going to like finish my game, and then I'm just gonna rewrite all that code because you know it would it would kind of be bad if I just go and just write all that code from the first time, and then if I mess somewhere up, I have to change things. <clears throat> And that would not be good. So I'm not sure when the next episode is going to come out. But it's going to come out soon. So make sure to subscribe. And click that bell button to get notified when it comes out. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.